Good evening once again YouTube viewers Another installment in Ken's Cookery Corner here Tonight we're going to be making a classic curry sauce We need a rather lot of onions for this one Butter 12 tablespoons of curry powder Coriander seeds, a handful One scotch bonnet, that's enough for this big pot Green cardamoms Black peppercorns Some cloves A cinnamon stick and about 4 bay leaves Beef and vegetable stock and a rather large tin of plum tomatoes. The onions will be blended with the garlic and over here I've got about a tablespoon of dried chilies and about a tablespoon of salt. First of all we're going to put the onions into the blender. Obviously there's a lot of those so we'll have to do just a couple of batches. Show you what it looks like when they're done. Mm -hmm. I've been ordered to change clothes by the way, in case you think I've uh, got some steam on my white shirt. TV shot, you saw the butter melting, we're going to add in all the onions and the uh, chopped garlic in here. The secret to any good sauce, any good curry sauce anyway, is the onions, so we're going to make sure they cook off perfectly well, sweat down. And we've got a new cameraman today yet again, we've changed personnel. I'll just mix this in just now, get this in. Get a look in there, monkey boy. We're missing it. Going to put this over a low heat here. The onions and the garlic. Sweat them out for about 15 minutes. Get the lid on that. Excuse me, thank you. To me, we're going to add in the curry powder, the dried chilies, the salt, and the chopped scotch bonnet. Before we add any of the stock, all the tomatoes, they'll go in later on. Back up to me, monkey boy. Obviously, I don't do dishes in this house, so I don't mind the kind of stages. Put the tomatoes and the stock into the sauce. We'll add in the dried stuff, which you saw earlier. This is inside an unused handkerchief. We don't want to use any of the old ones. So these will infuse your curry sauce with the flavours of the, the cardamoms, the cinnamon stick, the bay leaves, without any of it actually getting into the sauce, so you don't have to bite it. This is just going to be the basic sauce. We'll show you some additional ingredients later. Okay, that's your onions been cooking for 15 minutes or so. You want them just before they start to brown there. That's just about right. Of course, for all you know, I might just be lying and done this right away because that's the beauty of editing. So we're going to add in TV, Sean. We're going to add in our curry powder here now. Just give that a quick stir in. 12 tablespoons. It seems like a lot, but this is going to be a big pot. Your salt and your dry chilies. Stir this nice. Stir this through here. Apologies for the shadow, can't be helped. We're not in a professional studio here. We'll just cook this through, this looks nice and thick. We won't be adding any water to this or any liquids other than the stock and the tomatoes. I'll show you the optional ingredients now. A couple of times there have been comments posted on my my YouTube video site saying that it's they should be using fresh ingredients. Well that's all very well and good now, but I agree with that to a point, but this is for quickness. A lot of people don't have the time to go and find a market that sells fresh spices. We're living in the 21st century. And even if we are, I think my nearest market for buying spices like this would probably be somewhere in London or Paris. So that's fine by me. Cover that just for a wee second or so. My god, didn't even have to be asked to bring it back to me. We'll just put that in the sink. The old dishwasher is going to have plenty to do yeah, later. For a couple of minutes, just over a medium heat, and then we're stirring that in. We're going to add the scotch bonnet, a very hot chilli, we'll need one of that in a big pot, guarantee you. You can if you, if you want, if you're a bit scared of the fact that it's a very hot chilli. Use small Thai chilli which are a lot less hot, maybe about a dozen of them. It's really just for texture for this Thai chillies, but the scotch bonnet is purely for heat because I like it. We'll add in the vegetable and beef stock, not a lot, just enough to dissolve the cubes. Same again, the point about the fresh ingredients is taken. But I don't have time to cut up a cow and make it into a stock. More dishes. Add in the tomatoes. Lovely. That'd be a nice rich stock there. Add in the rest. Get the spoon out. Can't eat that. <laughs> now we're going to give this a good stir now. We're going to get this up to the boil. 
We're going to leave it for about 20 minutes or so. Stir in the tomatoes. The spoon should stand up in the, the sauce, as you can see. You don't need to worry about the thickness of the sauce because you're going to be, this is just a basic sauce which you'll be adding your own ingredients into to make your own variety. I'll show you what I mean in a couple of minutes. In this bag of dead ingredients I was mentioning, into the pot it goes, shove it down in there, make sure that it's not going to come loose, otherwise you've been a waste of time. All you've done is basically put a piece of cloth into a, a pot. You see that's starting to boil there already, so we'll turn the heat down on that and we'll leave that for about uh, anything between 20, 20 minutes, half an hour. Back up to me, Sean. We'll come back once the sauce is ready and we'll uh, show you what I mean by the optional ingredients when we try to take a bit of heat out of it and it'll just make a different variety of curry sauce that you can use. You'll have plenty here, you should get about 15 to 20 small tubs which you can make for yourself and your partner or of course you could use a whole pot if you're having a party. Oh fucking horrible. <laughs> Hello YouTube viewers. Ah that's the curry sauce ready there. Hmm. Well, as I was mentioning earlier on, we can have some optional ingredients. I've just brought a couple out to show you. Ingredients I mentioned earlier. You can add extra onions, make a dough piazza. You can add extra tomatoes, make it more like a buna. You can add mixed pickle or mixed chilli pickle, make an achari, add extra peppers. Add some cream, here you are, make a korma style, add some yoghurt with that, just to make the korma a bit more cool. Add some coconut milk, which I also have here, this makes it like a more of South Indian style, Indian Ocean cooking has a lot of uh, coconut milk in it. You can also add extra garlic and chilies, but just uh, don't go to your work the next day. If you want to just cool the sauce down itself, add yoghurt. Yoghurt contains compounds, which will counteract the heat in the chilies which are in your sauce. Now I'm glad I got that because I had to give it six fucking takes. <laughs> I'm going to have my tea. I hope you try this sauce. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Back to me, Sean. I'm Kenny Kelly. Man needs head. And you've been watching Ken's Cookery Corner. Oh, well, you're Thank watching you. Ken's Cookery Corner there. I bet you all wonder how I managed to remember my lines so well, so perfectly, and never fluff them. Well, I've invented something here. I might copyright it. The human auto cue. Here he is, the monkey boy. And there's the lines. Look at that, one safety pin on the back of an envelope. Copyright me, if I see it anywhere else, I'm suing your ass. <laughs>